But so NAD is one of these breakthroughs that I, I just sort of mentioned. So there's, there's been several different areas of biology that, that have been found to have, to have an influence on aging, actually. And actually by controlling these areas of biology, you can actually Im impact aging in, in a positive way. And one of them is NAD. So NAD is, here's a science lesson coming up. It, it's basically, it, it's a natural molecule. It's found in every single cell in your body. And it's got some really important functions in the cell. And the two main ones are firstly, it's involved in our energy production. So inside our cells, we have little things called mitochondria, which are like little energy producing factories, which are converting all our food into energy that the cells can use. And basically they do not function without this critical NAD molecule. So that's the first thing that it's really important for is generating our energy from our food. The other thing that it's really important for is actually acting as a signaling molecule in the cell. As levels of NAD go up and down, they basically switch on and off various other things in the cell. And some of the most important things that they switch on and off are repair and maintenance mechanisms in the cell. So your cells are constantly needing to be repaired. They're constantly under attack with oxidative stress and DNA damage and things like that. And NAD actually acts as a signal to switch on lots of little repair and helper mechanisms that actually fix all that damage. So that's continuously going on inside you all the time. You don't even know that your cells are just repairing and recycling themselves. And basically NAD coordinates some of this job. So NAD is important in autophagy. So autophagy is, is signaled by NAD as well. That's part of all these maintenance and repair mechanisms, these cellular maintenance and repair mechanisms that are going on, which the levels of NAD help to coordinate them being switched on and switched off. And the reason it, it becomes a problem with aging is because our NAD levels decline quite significantly as we get older. So when we're born, we have really high levels, but as we get, at, you know, to midlife, they've dropped quite a lot. So as we get to elderly ages, there's really not very much NAD left at all. And to put that into sort of numbers, you're looking at about a 50% decrease in your NAD levels every 20 years. So, you know, that's an awful lot to be dropping out of the cells, considering how important it is. So scientists sort of said, well, you know, if we've got this molecule in your cells, it's obviously really important. It does all these important jobs that are linked to aging and it declines as you get older. What happens if you don't let it decline as you get older? What happens if you keep your NAD levels at a youthful level and you just don't let them decline? So there was a series of very high profile studies that demonstrated that actually, if you could keep NAD levels high in cells or mammals, you actually could stop or even reverse some of the age-related decline that is associated with lack of energy and also with lack of maintenance and repair in the cells. So there was like fundamental uh, things that NAD coordinates. It was, done in, it was done in mice and in cells and now more recently there's been strategies and studies in humans to demonstrate that you can boost your NAD levels. So after those results, there was a huge rush to how can we translate this to humans? How can we actually keep NAD levels high in human cells and can we get the benefits from it? So that has been a, a major area of focus within the longevity field. And, uh, you know, it now is starting to become more mainstream where people are asking, well, you know, I've heard about this NAD molecule. What does it do? <laughs> like, what is it? But there's still a huge lack of understanding of actually what it is and, and why it's important and also the best ways to actually boost it in your body as you get older.